celebrating 10 years of success in Malawi, the Safeguard Young People Program. Over the past decade, the Safeguard Young People Program has made a profound impact on the lives of countless young individuals in Malawi. The success, among other things, has been due to the program's approach that enables young people to access age-appropriate information and services on comprehensive sexuality education CSE. We are reaching out to young people with correct information about their sexuality health so that they are able to make informed decision what should they do, how their body develops and then they don't just indulge in unwanted behaviors or unplanned sex. Gender-based violence is a pervasive problem in many societies. Safeguard Young People is working to combat the vice by educating young people on their rights and helping them engage duty bearers to discuss harmful cultural practices that perpetuates gender-based violence. <laughs> The program has also empowered youth to access family planning services and commodities. This has successfully averted unplanned pregnancies, which has empowered the youth, especially adolescent girls, to continue with their education. We've invested in building the capacity of youth to advocate for access to better services. The program has fostered dialogue between young people, service providers and local leaders to ensure the needs of the youth are heard and met. Safeguard Young People believes in the power of open, inclusive discussions. We create platforms where young people can talk freely about issues that concern them, including sexual reproductive health, gender equality and more. These discussions encourage young people to share their experiences, seek advice and support one another. The program has played a significant role in helping girls get back to school, providing them with the opportunity to continue their education. Most importantly, actively fighting against child marriages, ensuring that young people have a chance to dream aspire and create their own futures. When I was uh, training these girls, some of them did not even know condoms exist. As you can see, this is the village. Youth Friendly Health Services is in Katabe. Katabe is very far away from here. I thought it was wise for me to introduce sexuality education and then link it with uh, what we mostly need. <laughs> It was as the SYP celebrates its 10th year of success, we look forward to continuing our journey of empowerment, support and change.